I love beaver. The beavers. I love beavers. Your life is incomplete without knowing the following four facts about these clumsy little goobers. Number one, you're likely wrong about why they build dams. Yes, it's to make a pond to then build their cute little human hut, but the instinct stimulus is not the need for shelter. It's the fact that they are existentially distressed by the sound of running water. If these neurotic, oily little dorks hear even a trickle from yards away, they immediately was that a threat? According to my primary source for this video, a book called My Beaver Colony? In an empty enclosure with no water to be found, if the beavers figure out where the water pipes are under the floorboards, that cute little beaver, obsessive compulsive ordered twigs, leaves, and mud to all be piled on top of the plywood until the sound was sufficiently muffled so he could once again have peace. Beavers are seasoned paratroopers? Yeah, so in the 40s in Idaho, um, they had hunted all of their beavers to near regional extinction, decided to take beavers from places where they were bothering people for like, you know, gnawing on their landscaping and ruining water slides probably. They captured those beavers and then put them in wooden crates. Then they put those crates on airplanes. Then they parachuted from those airplanes and successfully repopulated the river. Of the 76 beaver loots, 75 made it. Look, he's fine. Life alteringly confused, but fine. Which brings me to the fact that beavers are the best rodent. They not only stabilize riverbanks from erosion, they improve the entire ecosystem, including us, us parts of the ecosystem. This is what you think a river looks like because you're a dumb, dumb modern concrete child who has never seen a river system untouched by the Army Corps of Engineers in your entire life. But slap one of these babies into it and blammo! You've got yourself a complex system of rivulets, of well-hydrated soils, of trees resistant to wildfire, and a whole new habitat for native species to then repopulate. They are a keystone of the Rocky Mountain West and they deserve more respect. They will, on occasion, straight up fight a moose. This one was trying to steal a snack, so he said, mm -mm, not today. Number four, they have den friends. They let marmots and like sometimes other small rodents live in the lodge with them in winter, so long as they help out around the house. North American beaver is the single greatest rodent on earth. And I'll fight anyone who expresses the wrong opinion to me. And I'll do it with citations.